I feel like the main thing we need to do is show this. This is where we started improvisation one. So that's at 120. Then this is improvisation two. The main difference is that we've changed the ending and we've dropped it to 100. And what we're now working on is improvisation three, which so far sounds like this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Motion, part 40, alternate edit part two. In today's episode, we re-entered with reflecting that feeling being driven nuts has become a thing in this series. And what we mean by that is new things keep our wanting to emerge, like the fast line that you just heard here on the right-hand side. Um, another key thing that's happening because we, yes, we, were, we finally finished our video edit. That's why this is called Alternate Edit Part 2. Uh, the interaction of words, music, visuals is evocative. And this Altspace VR video edit is important because multiple things are coming together for us to learn from. Um, for one thing, we've been composing videos from an audience point of view, but in this, we were one of the presenters. So we were both audience point of view and presenter point of view, and that presented new challenges. And somehow, this is why we feel driven nuts. This all applies to music. So we found a lot of uh, parallels in that. Um, in particular, we added uh, a level called stills here, which are um, still shots. So we have live footage like here. And this experience took place in the... Uh, that's not a good point. Here, live footage. That's changing as the are become... You can tell it's live because you can teach. see people moving around here. And of course... Then it flips into a slide Essential for educators in VR. So if you look at the photo on the right and a slide, well, that's normal. But the trouble is the slide is too static and, and we lose interest if we stare at it too long. And a typical image in the edit program is 10 seconds and then it changes. So we go and back to live, virtual... but then if you just hear the same voice talking for, you know, several minutes, that's loses attention. So we added this new, this new line. And contribute the content. Stills where and it that's would, not the same. It's unlike some boom. VR platforms, which it changes what you're seeing. So basically, any ch we reflected, any change in aural tone or visual image or both can poke our attention and keep us paying attention. Um, and there are three kinds of interests. There are the aural, what you hear, the visual, what you see, and cognitive, which is what the speakers are saying and you think about. Now in the final video there will be a closed caption so you can read the words that they're saying as well. So so we'll have all three playing at once. Um, now then we reflected a lot on how that applied to our musical composition which is this one. And we've been saying over and over and over that what was kind of driving us nuts on the first one here is that when we played this at 60 we just about fell asleep, you know. Here we go. But it's saying something to us at 60. We know from the previous work that that's a brain wave tempo. Something is responding in us to that. So in order to keep us listening, something has to happen at another channel that that keeps us engaged. And while we kind of punted and what we did is when we said, we'll just play it at 120 and go fast, you know, because tempo and, and loudness are the two most prominent things when we listen to music and sounds. Now on this one, um, we slowed it down to 100. This is the wrong, I should say 106 or something here whatever it is. So we kept it slow, but we added this arpeggio. 
So now we're really speeding it up. Uh, we, we, we dropped it from 120 to 100 here, uh, which could have been too slow, but then we added this arpeggio. So that keeps our interest. But again, we really, something is calling to us to drop it to 50, which sounds like this. Something is trying to speak there. So, so that's what has led us to work on improvisation three, which is here, which is indeed at 50. And if we, if we mute, uh, well, what we did is, is we, we left the arpeggios in. This is what it sounds like. Wait a minute, that's wrong. We're muting the wrong. Are we? Do, 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 do. What's going on here? Do, and then, and then we let this one play. Yeah, we added ornamentation twice as fast, twice as fast as the arpeggio. But we still, we felt it's still not, it's not fast enough. So then we added, we, now we're trying to add this part. And that's that's kind of what we're currently experimenting at. And when you let that play against the whole thing, we get this. So what we're going to do, because that's where we are. That's as far as we got to see if we liked it or not. We're going to play this whole improvisation three, which will let you hear it with, uh, we'll play it with everything. We'll play it with the... The ornamentation, which is brand new, and then the, we're calling the terrain because we say, well, that looks like kind of a hill, and then that looks like kind of a mountain, or at least a you know a pokey peak of a mountain. So here we go. And we'll stop there because uh, you can hear what it's like without, with and without the, the fast terrain line. So that concludes today's stream. What we really like is we got the video edited and we got an Improvisation 3 started. And our ideas for next time are to, to continue working on Improvisation 3. Uh, and we're being reminded of some piece of music that we played and heard an orchestra years ago uh, called Finlandia by Sibelius, which we think is what these things are reminding us of. Da, 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 da. But we couldn't find it. Um, post the video, get that off our plate. And then um, we're really intrigued by this idea of attention. How long can we look at something or listen to something before we go, you know, snooze? And theoretically, 10 to 20 minutes is what some research says, but that's for watching a presentation. Uh, we're losing it at 10 to 15 seconds. So, so there's something going on here. So how long can you look at a fixed image before you can't see it anymore? That's pretty quick. Uh, that's on the order of less than a minute. And how long can we listen to something before it quote unquote dims? Acknowledgements, shout outs to Beals of Possession and Yashwani who came back and Miss Cleo. So, tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care, do come back, and do keep on streaming. <laughs>